In a controversial decision by the Premier League, referee Anthony Taylor has been assigned to officiate the opening match between Chelsea and Liverpool. This comes after Taylor found himself at odds with both clubs last season. During Liverpool's 1-0 victory over Manchester City, Taylor sent off Jurgen Klopp, the Liverpool manager, sparking outrage among fans. This incident led to a petition signed by over 160,000 Chelsea fans, calling for Taylor to be banned from refereeing their games. The petition claimed that Taylor had an agenda against Chelsea and should not be allowed to officiate any matches involving the club. The anger towards Taylor stems from a match between Chelsea and Tottenham last August, where he allowed two controversial goals to stand fans were furious as Richarlison was in an offside position when Pierre-Emile Hodgjerg scored, and Christian Romero was seen tugging at the hair of Mark Cucurella just before Harry Kane's equaliser. Chelsea manager at the time, Thomas Tuchel, also expressed his frustration, questioning how these goals were allowed. Interestingly, Taylor only refereed one more Chelsea match last season, which was a goalless draw against Liverpool. This adds another layer of tension to the upcoming game. But it's not just Chelsea who have had issues with Taylor. Jurgen Klopp also has history with the referee, as he was shown a red card during Liverpool's win over Manchester City. Klopp later admitted that he went over the top with his reaction, but he still questioned Taylor's decision not to award a foul on Mohamed Salah. This is not the first time Klopp has criticized Taylor's competence. After Liverpool's 5-0 victory over Manchester United in 2021, Klopp questioned Taylor's consistency, claiming that there could have been multiple red cards for United. With the history between Taylor and both clubs, tensions will undoubtedly be high in this highly anticipated match. Fans will be watching closely, hoping for a fair and unbiased officiating performance from Anthony Taylor. Note, please make sure to add any necessary transitions or edits to fit the voiceover script.